Hello and welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. Uh, today we'll be uh, working on the uh, video number six for this uh, Ninja platformer game. Uh, today we'll try to work on the uh, Ninja uh, throwing the uh, Kunai knife out um, at the enemy. So uh, we'll, we'll work on that. Uh, before we begin, please like, uh, share, subscribe to our channel and uh, comment down below um, on the video see uh, what you guys like to see more uh, all right okay let's begin okay um, so the uh, ninja that throws a knife out is really sim uh, similar to the attack ninja so what we can do is we can kind of duplicate this guy for now and we're gonna move him here we're gonna call this a uh, ninja Throw. Okay, for our sprite name and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change it out a little bit so we'll delete all this custom here okay and we cannot delete the last one but uh doesn't matter we'll upload new one so upload custom we'll go back to the uh, ninja and we are going to upload the um, the throwing knife so let's look for that see if we have the knife Kone knife here this is jump this is dead this is attack Clyde run throw okay we have throw here uh, 0 to 9 we can get this sprite okay so we have all of them we can delete this A9 now and then we can rename it to T0 is to do a little quick uh, four uh, five here just count the ladies in the middle number six seven eight and last one number nine okay so we have our sprite ready uh, so zero nine zero one zero t zero to c nine okay uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change out this a little bit so this will be the same we'll keep it the same um, this is also the same what we're going to do is we're going to change this out instead of attack we will uh, change the ninja to uh, send out the right command for the uh, we have it here right in the bottom here let me pull this on here kind of blocking the way so we can duplicate this we'll probably be able to go even faster this time we have a lot of code already so we can say two so when number key 2 is pressed, uh, we can broadcast a new message, we call it throw, and 2. Okay, so this is the message that will throw the knife out. Uh, so we'll go back to the ninja. So instead of uh, attack, right, we'll say throw. When I receive throw 2, and it is not dying then um, we want to uh, set the action here same thing like what we did for the uh, attack and instead of show two we're gonna show one we'll show to show two okay and then we'll go back to our ninja again so here similar to that so we'll say show two when i receive show two and so called ninja attack we'll go to ninja throw this time okay um what we also need is the knife uh, because when you when you throw the, the knife out right you'll have the knife right so um, what we'll add the knife for that okay you can click on this say upload and we can find the knife here 
Okay. That's the knife. Okay. Uh, we will have to still change the knife a little bit. We want to convert the vector. We are going to rotate the knife. So track, you see this little, like a little round thing, track this. We're going to rotate the knife to, you know, okay, like this. So you can hold the shift key, it kind of, if you're doing the drag, you can hold the shift key, kind of make it straight. It's a little easier. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change the size to 25. Okay. Um, Really simple code. Uh, we'll go to uh, when green flag is clicked, we'll kind of zoom in here so you can see better. Uh, we'll s you can say uh, set size, since we already did that, right? You can also do it like this set size 25. And then we can say hide it. We don't want to show it when the green flag is clicked. And when we we're going to going to use the, uh, the control here when I receive message mm. when I receive um, throw knife so we the broadcast throw knife first from this guy actually so here okay uh, we have to add the code first I forgot so uh, we don't want to put it down here. We'll create another block uh, so that it doesn't block anything while they're doing this uh, changing the custom. So when I say receive throw to, that's when the user click on the click on this button here. Number two, right? The keyboard number two, and we do the custom change here, and also um. What we want to do is um, delete all that. We want that same condition check. Uh, we can say um, broadcast this one. new message. All right, so throw knife. Okay, so we have this broadcast message. So when we receive these two, we'll do the custom change and also we want to throw the knife out so when we receive throw knife um, we will go to uh, ninja that throw so it's the ninja throw custom we'll say um, point in direction and then we've got a sensing I track this in here so we are going to choose that uh, ninja throw and you can select direction and then we will say move where's the move okay here we'll move 25 step just kind of move the knife out in the front when it's throwing because when you say go to the ninja you kind of go into the, that center here the ninja so we can move the knife out a little bit so we'll move 25 step and then we will say show and then we'll have to use a repeat loop here so we will do use a repeat until so making sure that when it hit the edge okay we'll repeat until it hit the edge okay um, use this and select edge okay and then we'll say move 10 step and we want another it condition here also so um, if it hit that uh, hit the uh, hit box it will disappear also so we'll need the sensing for that go back here get that select hit box that we created and we are going to hide it uh, you can use uh, like this or you can use clone 
I think clone will be a little bit more difficult with the code, but I'll just do something simple. Uh, I mean, it pretty much works almost the same. Um, okay, so we got that so far. So right now, if it's hitting the knife, if it touch the edge, it goes away or it gets to the end. So let's test it out real quick. So let's push number two. You see it kind of, when it hit the, uh, the hit box, it went away. Or else it goes to the end, it goes away. So you can kind of jump up and you can hit it. Um, so one thing I was talking earlier, right? Why we need the uh, weight and weight, uh, broadcast and weight. So that's actually some difference here. So let's try this. You see this uh, broadcast attack one and then the throw two, right? Which is the other attack. Uh, so if I run this game, you see that this is attack one, this is throwing. So let's say if I'm doing two buttons at the same time, you see how it is like attack and also throwing knife, right? Which is not good. That's not what we want. So when in order to fix that, you actually need this. So instead of broadcast attack, you actually say broadcast attack one and wait when the condition is finished so that you're not allowed to do that. The second, and then the same thing for here, broadcast and wait uh, the throw two. So now let's stop this again. Let's try it again. So we'll do attack one, still work. Two, still works. If I do two two button at the same time, you can see you can. It only does one thing at a time, so you cannot do two. Okay. So only attack or this. So there you go. So you are not allowed to hit two things at the same time. Okay. So this is the attack uh, for the ninja. Um, okay. So um, what we can do is. Let's see. Okay, now we have both the uh, attack of the sword and throwing a knife. What we can do is we are going to make something that he can throw at or break it, right? Uh, so let's look at our crate here, here on this. Um, okay, we don't have much code here. Um, so what we can do is this. So as you can see, the ninja in the beginning, it does some kind of a broadcast with the uh, create setup. Um, so this setup message uh, broadcast to set up the platform, right? See the platform. So when it's set up, you know, you can say, okay, move to a certain level or change the level. So once the uh, setup of the platform is done, uh, or let's say you have different problems, you can broadcast another message here, and then the crate can take that message, and then it will set up its, uh, uh, its position. So what we can do is um, we can broadcast a message here. So after the, the the platform is set, we can broadcast a new message saying um, create uh, crate. Okay, this will create the crate for placing in the right location. So you can go back here and you say when I receive create crate. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. So make sure you go to the front layer, okay? And then you can check uh, the level, uh, depending on which level you want. You, the, you know, maybe it's the different position, right? So let's say we are in level one right now, right? So we'll say, go to the uh, here, scrap this, and say if it's level one, and we're gonna put them at this position. So that's already there. So you just drag that here, and then um, you say show, okay, all right, okay, and then um, we have another loop to check if it get hit, so you can say forever, and then you can say like um, when touching, And then you can use an if statement here. And then we can use an O operator actually. So if it's touching, 
a ninja attack or it is touching the the knife corner so we can play a sound maybe with we'll upload sound here select a sound okay so like kind of like this crate got broken I mean you can use any sound I just thought that sound sound good so you can say slot sound you don't have to say until done and I mean you can um, you can use either one I think it's fine it's really short and you can say hi and you can broadcast another message and then you can say new message crate broken so the crate is broken so uh, you can replace the crate after the crate is broken you can replace with a gym or something like that later uh, that's how we did on the original game so for now so let's kind of test it out so we throw a knife so you see I broke the crate and it disappeared and uh, let me try it with a sword so you chop the sword it disappeared so that's how you kind of get the uh, crate working with the uh, weapon so we can test it out um, you know later we can uh, work with the monster you know uh, and you can attack the monster as well so you can see the uh, knife can kind of break the crate and the sword also able to break it okay so we'll stop here uh, we'll continue this next time all right thank you have a good day bye bye